All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 13 minus three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as three to the power of 12 plus one minus three. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get three to the power of 12 times three to the power of one minus three. And from here, I can factor out three. So I get three times three to the power of 12 minus one. Now three to the power of 12, I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of six times two. And that's equal to three times three to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into three times 729 plus one times 729 minus one. This is equal to 730 times 728. So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to three times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to three times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. So to solve this problem for my solution, I'm going to first, let me rewrite uh, the equation right here. Now to start, just by looking at this equation, what can we infer? Well, notice how we have x to the power of y minus something is equal to 17. And 17 is greater than 0, right? Meaning, x to the power of y is greater than y to the power of x. And this also must mean that x is greater than y, and y is greater than 0. So now that we know this, I'm going to rewrite my equation here. x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. And x to the power of y I can rewrite this as x to the power of y to the power of 2 over 2, because 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1, and x to the power of y to the power of 1 is the same thing as x to the power of y. Now this, I can rewrite as x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2, because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, so I can switch these up. Now, y to the power of x, I can also change this up as well. So y to the power of x, I can rewrite that as y to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2. And this, I can rewrite as y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. Now from here, remember my original equation was x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals 17. 
Now I can replace x to the power of y with x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2, and y to the power of x with y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2 minus y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 17. Now I'm going to let x to the power of y over 2 equal to the variable a and y to the power of x over 2 equal to the variable b. So now if I substitute in a for x to the power of y over 2 and b for y to the power of x over 2, I get a squared minus b squared is equal to 17. Now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So a squared minus b squared, that's going to equal a plus b times a minus b is equal to 17. Now the only factors of 17 are 1 and 17, meaning that one of these two has to be 17 and the other one has to be 1. So just by looking at this, we can tell that a plus b is going to be 17 and a minus b is going to be 1 because a plus b is greater than a minus b, meaning a, I have two equations, a plus b equals 17 and a minus b b is equal to 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. a plus a is 2a, b minus b is 0, so these two cancel out, and 17 plus 1 is 18. So I get 2 equals 18, and if I divide both sides by 2, I get a is equal to 9. Now I can plug back in a for 9 into my original equation. So let's we could just do either one. I'm going to do a plus b equals 17. If I plug in a for 9, I get 9 plus b equals 17, meaning b is equal to 8. So a equals 9, b equals 8. And we can even check it over here. Let's plug both of these in. a is 9 minus b is 8. And 9 plus 8 does equal 1. So now that we know a is 9 and b equals 8, we can go back here and notice how we let x to the power of y over 2 equal a and y to the power of x over 2 equal b, meaning x to the power of y over 2 is equal to 9 and y to the power of x over 2 is equal to 8. So, to solve this, let's first start by solving the first equation. So x to the power of y over 2 equals 9. I can first start by taking the power of 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of y is equal to 81. Now 81, I can rewrite that as 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to do the same thing to y to the power of x over 2. I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides, and then these two cancel out, so I get y to the power of x is equal to 64. Now 64, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of y equals 3 to the power of 4, and y to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 3. Well, what does that mean? Well, y, 4, x, 3, and over here, y, 4, x, 3, meaning x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 4. So this is my solution to this equation.